What is up again, whiskey boys and whiskey women? It is yours truly, Whiskey Coach, and thank you as always for joining me this evening for yet another Spirits Review. Tonight on the docket is none other than Yellowstone Select Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey 93 Proof. Okay, so what do we know about the fine folks at Yellowstone? So, first of all, it's not the fine folks at Yellowstone, it's the fine folks at Lime Branch. <coughs> uh, Lime Stone. I know Limestone. Limestone's the one that does the, uh, how they do Limestone itself. They do Minor Case. They do this one. They also do its Big Brother, which is kind of what prompted this review. Um, one of you subscribers actually asked that I do this Yellowstone 101 proof, the limited version, which is an annual release that's uh, finished in the uh, finished in the wine casks. I'm not quite ready to open this one yet, so I figured I'd throw you a bone and, and, and kind of do a little little brother here. So hope that's okay. So, sorry about that. Okay, so what do we know about the whiskey itself? It's a uh, it's supposedly at high uh, high rye, uh, but there is no uh, really no information on the uh, on the mash bill itself. Um, they think it's in the six to eight year range um, in terms of the uh, in terms of how long this has been aged. Now, if you if the name Yellowstone rings a bell, uh, it's you're either old or you've been drinking a while or maybe both. So Yellowstone was kind of always a bottom shelf, you know, non respected bourbon, kind of like Rebel Yell. And uh, remember, Rebel Yell was owned by Luxco, is owned by Luxco, and they kind of re-released the single barrel, 10 year old, and all of a sudden it's got respectability and almost a cult following. So the folks at Limestone are partially, from what I understand, they're partially owned by Luxco. So uh, Luxco basically tasked them to kind of reinvigorate, uh, you know, bring this brand back to life. The brand's been around since the late 1800s, um, and they kind of rebranded it. I mean. You look right off the top, beautiful, uh, you know, cylinder that this comes in. Kind of a very authentic antique look with a gold font. Picture of the uh, the distillery, uh, the rick houses. You know, it's just a really nice, nice uh, piece. And I'm going to read you uh, the marketing piece behind this one. In 2010, my family and I founded Limestone Branch Distillery with the intention of crafting only the finest whiskey and the dream of restoring the Yellowstone brand to its former glory. In the spring of 2015, over a century after our great-grandfather M.C. Beam sold his distillery to Limes Yellowstone, that dream came true. To celebrate this family reunion of sorts, we bring you Yellowstone Select Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. To the nose, it's leather hints. Uh, citrus, oak on the tongue, it's spicy rye, and soft cherries fading to smoked caramel. After a memorable finish, rich with brown sugar and Kentucky tradition, enjoy. Stephen Beam. So, yeah, two of the uh, Beam brothers own uh, Limestone. So, uh, you know, obviously you know the Beam name. They, uh, they know what they're doing when it comes to bourbon production. So, uh, let's, uh, let's dive into the actual spirit. Uh, here's what the bottle itself looks like. It kind of has a little bit of uh, the, the BTAC, you know, the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection feel you know, to it. The shape of the bottle, the look, um, you know, the Pappy Van Winkles. It, it's got that feel. It's a very nice bottle to hold. Uh, kind of a wine, wine style. Nice cork, nice gold foil. Um, and it pours nicely too. <clears throat> so I really, <clears throat> I really do like that uh, presentation a whole lot. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a douse with the private reserve because I'm feeling this, this bottle may take me a little while to, uh, to finish. As you see, I've got a handful, so some of these bottles do stick around for a while. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, it comes with this nice little insert. I love these little, little teeny things, in my opinion, go a long way. So they're talking about their uh, uh, craft your own small batch, basically... Uh, straight bourbon. Yeah, so you can basically craft your own um, experience, and it talks about that, you know, visiting the distillery. And on the back, it's got a nice little image of the bottle, uh, tasting notes. So kind of a cool, cool little add-on. <clears throat> Personally, guys, I don't, barely I'll read a tasting note. I'll read tasting notes while I'm at the liquor store. 
<clears throat> maybe because I'm just curious and I have nothing else to do, but I don't really read a whole lot into them, I guess. So uh, here's my new, not my new, but my new glass for you guys. The one thing I get a little upset about, not upset about, but kind of uh, regret, I, I guess is probably a better description, is, you know, when you read these things, you read about it being six to eight years, you read about being high rye, all of a sudden your brain starts to tell you, you're smelling rye, you're smelling spiciness, it smells almost Canadian. Now, that or the fact that I just got a good, I have a good nose, you know, but I, I, mm, I have an okay nose, I have a decent palate, but um, I think it's certainly influenced by, influenced by what you're reading and, and, and hearing. It's almost got a real, um, real green nose, um, reminiscent of Irish whiskey. Light, little floral. Nothing like a hearty, rich, you know, leather kick, vanilla bomb, bourbon oak, none of that. None of that. It's very light and delicate on the nose. Okay, let's give it a taste. It tastes like it smells. Sometimes you'll, you'll get the complete opposite. This falls in line. This is what you expect it to taste like. Little spice on the front palate. Finishes quickly. Very uh, thin. <clears throat> doesn't, it doesn't coat the lining of your... Of your of your cheeks, your jaws, your throat. It's kind of a quick, quick experience. Surprisingly easy to drink, although at 93 proof, that's somewhat expected. I do get the maple. There's certainly some maple in there. But there's also a little bit of orange zest, orange rind, kind of that raw fruitiness, not the actual fruit, more of the, more of the skin. A little bit of almost like a, yeah, like a, maybe more so grapefruit than, than orange. If you like rye, I think you'll really enjoy this. If you're more of a bourbon guy, probably not so much. Is it my cup of tea? Um, not not negative at, at all. Nothing again. Nothing uh, disgusting or um, unenjoyable about it. Um, I will give this one a six point two this tonight, guys. Uh, thanks. Uh, tr I thought I'd try something new. I don't do a ton of craft distilleries. I I'm gonna go ahead and call these guys craft. They're not they're not one of the big dogs on the on the block. <clears throat> and and the reason is, and I'm not gonna sit on this or get on this pedestal and, and stand on the soapbox because frankly you don't have time for it. But man, this is, you know, if let's let's follow the belief that, assumption that this is six to eight, eight years old. And this bottle's a fifty dollar bottle. I just can I can find far better bang for your buck. Heck, like Henry McKenna, you know, like Elijah Craig, like geez, Evan Williams bottled and bond. I mean, for for half, sometimes less uh, than that. So cool bottle, cool story. I don't think it's a very good value personally. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll give it. Thanks again, guys. And until next time, as always, glasses up.